All right, so in the last video, we talked about the hooks that I like to use, and, and I love those hooks. In my opinion, they're the sharpest hooks I've ever seen, and they do a really good job. But I'm here to tell you, if you don't follow up those hooks with a good hook set, I don't care what you're throwing. Chances are, I found that you'll get a couple of jumps out of that fish and he'll just fall off and we don't want that to happen. So today, I'm gonna talk about a technique that I used to get my hook set. And I'm also gonna show you a tool that I've been using for many, many years, which has allowed me to get up to seven, to close to seven, seven and a half pounds of pressure on that fish at any given hook set. I know from the feel of my rod where I'm at, where I can get that. But I just didn't figure that out on my own. So I told you I love to fish with my 12 weight rods and I showed you the two or three different lines that I like to use depending upon what's going on that day. I like to throw it 50 feet, 60 feet, 70 feet. Occasionally I'll make that 80 foot cast. Problem with that is one, it's a long cast. And when you try to set up at 80 feet, it's really difficult to get a good hook set at that length. Even if I can get you know, six or seven pounds, it's still very difficult because it's a long way out. So I always try to practice 75 and in. So in the yard, I've got it set at 60 feet, 70 feet and 80 feet so that I can pull. So I take my, my butt section, I try to make it a tournament butt section, which just means my class tippet is 16 pound that we're allowed to use in tournaments. I test that so that I can find out what's the breaking strength of that 16. That way I know if I'm pulling seven or seven and a half, I try to be right at 50% or a little bit lower of that breaking strength. So when I really pull hard on that fish, if I can feel what's going on with him and he doesn't do anything really crazy, I shouldn't break it off on the hook set. I don't do that very often. And this is what we're gonna to try to get you to. Second of all, when I do that hook set, I want you to know it's an elongated rod. I don't use just the tip of the rod to hook set up here. As I'm gonna show you, I strip down, it comes tight, and then I lean into that. It's a really long part of the rod. I am flexing from, again, the top of the cork, which we talked about on casting, all the way through to the tip of the rod. That allows me to use that entire rod. And I gotta tell you, you can really apply some pressure when you're doing that. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So the tool that I use, very interesting. Got a scale, inexpensive scale, doesn't cost a lot. It's a very accurate scale. I put it on a gallon of water to make sure it, it's where it's supposed to be. Then I zip tie this to the tree or something, something stiff, because like I said, I don't want it to move. Then I take my shock tippet, make an overhand knot or a loop knot in it, apply it to that, to this end, and then I'll walk back to 60 feet. And I will strip, strip simulating that the tarpon comes tight. I come tight, I strip one more time, and then I lean into that to get the hook set that I like. Then I set everything down and I walk back. And what I like about this is wherever I'm pulling, it leaves this right to the pounds so I can see exactly where I was on that pull. So if it's a little light, I pull a little harder. I use that over and over and over again at the 50 foot mark, the 60 foot mark, the 70 foot mark, even out to the 80 foot mark, because as you go further and further, you're gonna get a little bit more line stretch and you have to figure that into your pull. So it's gonna make you practice this a lot, but I'll tell you what, if you can consistently get this up to four to five pounds to close to six pounds, you're gonna hook a lot of fish. You know, I fished with a lot of folks and we come in and we do this technique and I have them just pull. I don't pull ahead of time, I let them do it. And I said, go ahead, I set it up at 60 feet, I said, show me your normal pull. They pull and chances are you're gonna find they pull with the tip of the rod. So when they go back and look at it, they're pulling it between two and three pounds because the tip of the rod's just not enough to really get it to where you want to stick them close to that six and seven plus pound range. It takes the entirety of the rod. So we practice this over and over and over again. And in dough time, I've got them up to four and a half to five pounds. It'll take you a little while longer to keep working up to where you want to be. If you can get to that six pound, between five and six pound on a continuous basis, I found you're going to stick a lot more fish and they're going to stay on. So again, get one of these. This is amazing. This little scale works so well. Draw yourself out areas to where you're at 50 feet, 60 feet, and 70 feet. And like I said, I will hook it up and I will walk back and I will strip a couple of times, simulating it bite. It comes tight and then I lean in. It's that elongated part of the rod using from the, the butt all the way through is gonna make the difference. Let me tell you something that's very interesting that I found. I, 
did that, but something in me said, you know, occasionally you'll get a weird fish and you'll hook set them off to the left for whatever reason. I gotta tell you, I can only pull 50% to my left what I can with my right. So when I'm fishing right-handed, I always ask my guide, or if I have right-handed anglers, I try to position them in such a, a way that whenever they go to strike up on that fish, that they're pulling out to the right. I just can't get a good hook set to my left. So you wanna get it, stay on the side that you're really strong. Now, I hook a lot of fish, but I'm not here to tell you I hook every fish. There are times that you can do everything right, and every fish is different. I'll get a good hook set on the fish, holding my line out here, and what does that crazy fish do? Starts bouncing right to the boat. Bum, ba bum, ba bum. I've had them hit the boat, and then they just fall off. There's not a lot you're gonna be able to do with a fish like that, except be very, very lucky. So again, this is something that's important as well. You hook the fish, now you might have at the base of your feet, who knows how much, five, six, 10 feet of line on the deck. What I want you to do is strip till it comes tight, lean into it, and then hold the rest of your line away from your rod and reel. Something that's very important. I did it in the beginning and I see a lot of people do it. They get very nervous and they want that loose line to get to that reel as soon as possible. I've seen people literally let go of that line and just try to spin on the reel and they're watching it as they're doing this. Don't do that. Keep it out here. Keep your eyes on that fish. You want to make sure if that fish does anything, and we're going to talk about it when we start fighting the fish, how to keep it on and you know keep everything under control. You make that fish take this line from your hand. Now, I'm not saying you're clamping down on it super hard, but I don't want it just to be so worried that you just can't, you, you let it loose. You hold them. I've, I've hooked some big fish to where when you set that hook, they just sit there under the water and you can feel their head just going back and forth, but they're not going anywhere yet. Trust me, sooner or later, that fish is gonna leave and you're gonna get that line to that reel. So I want you to hold it out here. It can come through your fingers nice and solidly. You've got a good hold. And then as it goes out, you walk that right to your reel and then you're on for the fight. Very important. Hook it out, keep that line out here. This actually is part of the pull, so you can really get the tension on it, but then it's important, make him take it from you. So we're gonna do this in a two-part video. I wanted to tell you about all this first, and then we're gonna go outside, as soon as I get a little bit better weather, and we're gonna hook this up, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it. But I gotta tell you, if you can get this to that four to six pound range, four, you're gonna hook more fish, but when you get between five and six, you're gonna hook a lot more fish and chances are they're gonna stay on. So we're gonna go outside. We're gonna put this together and see how it works for you. See you outside.